this is going to be so bad. Oh, f me. No, unfortunately, it's not clickbait. In today's episode of Tiny Apartment Shooting, we are going to look at a shoot that I did recently that ultimately failed. So for those of you who caught my last video, you'd know that Bennett Grazer, a YouTuber that I follow and that I highly recommend you follow as well, put forward a challenge for videographers to film a video using their smartphone. So I thought I'd give this a go. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at some of the BTS that I filmed for that. The subject of the video was a bottle of Bailey's Chocolat Lux, and I wanted to try and make a product spec ad using all the techniques that I'd learned so far. But it turns out that this didn't matter because when I loaded the footage up, it was low quality, noisy, the colors were doing their own thing. Ultimately, the image quality was so bad. Nonetheless, I'm making this video anyway because I wanted to document the whole experience and show you other creators out there that not every shoot will go to plan. Welcome to the behind the scenes of what is sure to be one of the weirder and more challenging videos that I will have shot in recent months. I've never shot with a smartphone before, so getting the exposure right has been quite difficult. The bottle's extremely reflective, which is why I've set up a little blanket over this side just to kill off any reflections. I've got a Godox on this side with a octagonal softbox and honeycomb grid diffuser. And up there next to the camera, I've got a Niwa 480 panel LED shooting a warm light. I'm using a bit of double diffusion using my Niwa 5-in-1, just so I can get a consistent spill of light and color onto the bottle. I'm shooting in pro mode on my phone, so I can actually control the focus, the ISO, the shutter speed to a certain extent. One of the advantages of shooting with this phone over my Sony, we can actually shoot at 4K 60 frames per second. I'm also gonna be trying out the 960 frames per second option, the extreme slow-mo. So for the first shot, I'm gonna use my girlfriend's Luma Cube which I tend to use quite a lot. It's actually a really useful little light. And I'm just gonna motion it past the bottle like this as the logo swoops past the camera. I've also got to lower myself whilst recording, otherwise my reflection actually shows up in the bottle. Because I don't have any sort of gorilla pod or anything that can actually hold the phone in place, I've taken two clamps, balanced them on top of my girlfriend's yoga blocks, <laughs> and we've actually got quite a nice steady shot as a result. Okay, no more dilly-dallying. Let's go for the first shot and see how it turns out. This is gonna be so bad. Uh, the logo's coming round and swoop the light. I do not know how that is gonna look. I've only just finished the first shot and I can already tell you, if you have a Samsung Galaxy S10e, do not shoot on it. I'm getting this weird stutter in camera. I, I, I'm guessing it's a processing problem. So hopefully that won't show up in the final footage, but I think it will. So that'll be fun to work around. The next shot I'm gonna get is just gonna be essentially the same as what we just did. I need to get a shot of the bottle top because there's actually a nice little logo here that highlights one of the features of the drink, which is that it's made with real Belgian chocolate. Right, manual focus, let's get that. So the camera managed to die whilst I was doing a bit of setting up. So let me catch up with what's going on here. I'm getting the final hero shot of the bottle before I delve into anything more complicated. I've placed my gold reflector underneath the bottle because we won't be getting the entire bottle in shot. And I've got a bit of the drink in here with acrylic ice cubes that's gonna just add a bit of foreground. And then the final thing that I'm doing is I'm using a Luma cube while sliding this to give a bit of a a glint or a gleam to the bottle because the color scheme and the aesthetic of the product is gold. Um, this is the one time I think I can get away with hot spots on the bottle because it actually just gives it more of a shiny, authentic gold aesthetic. Think we got it. And now, the moment I've really been waiting for, let's try out that super slow-mo feature. 960 frames per second. Oh, f*** me. <sighs> myself. Okay. In the interest of getting a bit more light in the frame, here we go. Oops. 
It's just not sharp, that's the problem. So the shots are only going to get more complicated from here on out. I'm now using the tallest side of the yoga blocks. This is not going to work. Now the idea of the shot is to have some Baileys in the glass and then we let one droplet fall into it. Still here, because you can't see what's going on from the other side, thanks to the giant diffuser, I'm balancing my phone on two yoga blocks and I'm using a combination of the Luma Cube, a glass and the Baileys bottle in order to balance it. This frees me up to use the spoon, which I've been using just to let one droplet fall into the glass. Flies, man. It's currently 2.30 in the morning and I'm going to call it there for the night. I didn't want to finish at 5 a.m. again. I might come back to this tomorrow because there was a bunch of chocolate that I bought that I was planning to melt to use as part of the uh, aesthetic of the video. But for tonight, that's it. So... One of the most frustrating things about this shoot was buying and melting a buttload of chocolate. And on my phone, those shots looked really good. But when I loaded them up in Premiere Pro, they were actually some of the worst shots of the bunch. It almost goes without saying, but trying and failing is one of the best ways to learn and improve. Before I bit the bullet and invested in equipment, I spent a lot of my time studying the theory online, watching creators like Schiffer and Austin Paul and James Matthews. And probably the most important lesson I learned last year, you can spend as much time as you want studying the theory, but when it comes to putting that stuff into practice, there will still be a million things that are going to go wrong. It was only by putting this study into practice did I realize how much I was going to fail because I failed again and again and again. But after trying and failing a few times, you kind of just get used to it. And once I got used to it, I started to realize that every failure was just a lesson that I was learning that I could apply into my next shoot. And slowly, slowly, I started to see the quality of my content get better. So it's currently the afternoon. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but nevertheless, it's time to melt some chocolate. I just bought some cheap melting chocolate from my local store. There are a few things I learned about shooting with a smartphone yesterday, namely that I don't like it. So in the interest of saving myself time today, because I actually have to do a test shoot for a client later on, we're going to melt this chocolate and we're going to incorporate the use of a bowl and a Lazy Susan to get some nice, slow, ripply shots. And I'm taking this straight out of Daniel Schiffer's book, which I've never done before. Okay, into a yeah. bowl while it rotated on an electric turntable. Okay, yeah, Simple, but simple. I'm taking this one straight out of the Schiffer handbook. And three, two, one, go. That's it, keep that going. Ooh. I know I said I was gonna keep it simple with the chocolate, but there's one more shot I wanna try because we have a, a ton of chocolate left over. I'm gonna try melting all the chocolate, putting it into a pan, and we're gonna see if we can't get a shot of the bottle slowly sinking in and getting enveloped by it, and then playing that in reverse. Uh, let's see how it goes. And in three, two, one, go. The lessons I want people to take away from this video is not only is it okay to fail, but I want to stress the point that even as you progress past a point where you think you can't make these errors, they can still happen. And I hope that my transparency in showing you this failed shoot has helped you in some way. Now, I don't have many subscribers or viewers, but for those few that stuck around this long, let's watch my terrible Bailey spec ad shot on a smartphone together. And Bennett Grazer, I may not have entered the challenge this time, but I'm coming for your next challenge. I'm gonna win that prize pool. Roll it.
Well, the results were just revealed. Oh, hey. Left the light standing the whole time. That's funny. The subject of the video, the subject video, 